We're here with Bishop Mark Andrus at the end of a very exciting day where he has been representing the Episcopal Church at the signing ceremony for the Paris Agreement on Climate Change. Bishop Mark, can you describe for us in a few words what your day was like? Well, it was uh, one more day in what is a, a historic moment in the world's history, the Earth's history, in that the Paris Agreement represented the first time the earth has come together for the sake of the earth. Fantastic. Can you describe some of the things you actually did while you were at the UN? I uh, attended the signing ceremony, which was beautiful. Um, many, many heads of state were there and um, heads of missions to the United Nations. Uh, the Secretary General uh, presided, uh, the President of France, uh, spoke. Our own uh, Secretary of State, John Kerry, spoke. Um, there were uh, really uh, Leonardo DiCaprio uh, also was the last speaker just before the official signing, and then people were brought forward to sign. Uh, so that was in the morning, um, part of the morning. Then I went to what's called the DMZ, which in this case means the Digital Media Zone, and I attended three different uh, presentations, uh, which were very informative um, and I was right on the front row got to get a few questions in there and uh, then after uh, lunch where I blogged and tweeted some more I uh, went to a final uh, panel that included uh, my governor Governor Jerry Brown uh, as well as um, uh, Jeffrey Sachs uh, one of the main authors of the um, previous Millennium Development Goals and a professor here in New York uh, and head of the Earth Institute at Columbia University and an Episcopalian. Um, and uh, they were talking about how do we take action, how do we carry the Paris Agreement into uh, it, its fulfillment. Wonderful. If you could name the top three takeaways that you would like all Episcopalians to remember about today in terms of what it means to our church what would you choose? I think the first takeaway uh, came from one of the speakers in the uh, digital media zone in the DMZ that this is the moment of a new civilization. This was the environmental minister of Morocco, which will host COP22 this fall in, in Marrakesh. And um, the implications of a new civilization uh, is that it, it represents how we think and how we act. It's uh, all going to be new. Uh, the second is that the fulfillment of the Paris Agreement will take place at what they call the sub-national level. And that means um, entities like the Episcopal Church will have a role to play in bringing the Paris Agreement to life and to reality. And the third is uh, what another person said, that climate change is also, also climate chance. There's enormous peril if we don't act. There's tremendous promise if we do. Thank you, Bishop Mark, for your fantastic representation and all your work on behalf of the Episcopal Church. And we look forward to having you back soon at the UN. Thank you.